And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. All right, these are the preliminary findings from the National Weather Service survey teams today. EF1 tornado winds 86 to 111 miles an hour, about 10 miles to the northeast of Rensselaer. The other one, actually, there were two tornadoes in Kokomo. It looks like the, may, uh, the more significant one had a 10 mile track and was on the south side of town, but there was another one uh, that was rated an EF2. Winds of uh, about 111 to 135. EF2 tornado. Here on the southeast side of Lafayette, down towards US 231, EF2 at Lebanon, and an EF1 near Atlanta here in Tipton County. And they're still surveying their other likely tornado tracks they're going to continue to look at, not only for the evening, but also uh, tomorrow. We'll have an update on those at 11 and then again tomorrow. And these are some of the measured wind gusts. We had a weather station near that tornado track at Kokomo of 109 miles an hour and a very sharp barometric pressure drop as that storm went through. Gust of 81 near Radnor, 64 at the station, 82 Dayton, and wind gust of 59 near Rensselaer and 43 at the Fulton County Airport. There's the monster storm, almost a hurricane over land. Uh, the pressure was equivalent to about a Category 2 hurricane in Michigan. Now continues to move on out, but the thing is the upper level winds that produce the severe weather outbreak are still there. We're not looking at severe weather, but very strong jet stream is kind of keeping the cold air bottled. So actually today hasn't been too bad. We've had highs in the 40s, though it's been very windy. 44 right now at the station, 45 Attica tonight. As the winds calm down, clear skies will allow the temperature to drop well down into the 20s. Back to 40 by 11 a.m. tomorrow. Rain's on the way, though. Periodic rain Wednesday evening through Friday, and then an Arctic blast. The cold air will finally get discharged and move in, and it will certainly turn quite windy by the weekend. Low clouds will pull out tonight in the clear skies. That's what's going to allow the temperature to tank well down into the 20s. A frosty start uh, to the day uh, to the day on Tuesday there. 45 tomorrow with a high at Lafayette. 44 Monticello. Not a bad day. Not much wind. A lot of sunshine. So it actually feel decent. Wednesday, a lot of sun early, then increasing clouds. Again, not a lot of wind. Winds out of the southeast, generally upper 40s to low 50s area wide. High res future cast clear tonight, clear through tomorrow. A good looking day. That's five in the afternoon tomorrow. Tomorrow night, though, some clouds start to come in, and clouds will be on the increase on Wednesday. By Wednesday evening, a, a few spotty showers coming in from the west, and periodic rain will start to set in next week as all this moisture funnels in and this moisture heads our way. And we're going to form a storm that will pass just south of here, but it will probably be about three waves of rain with it. Then as it pulls away by next weekend, much colder weather, a few scattered snow flurries, snow showers, maybe even a little lake effect snow. And then it will start to moderate and turn more seasonable later on next week. Seven day forecast though, after mid 40s tomorrow, 50 Wednesday, periodic rain, kind of a gray, gloomy, rainy end of the week. It won't rain the whole time, but off and on rain Thursday into Friday and then much colder way below normal Sunday with 25, but back to 36 by Monday. All right. Well, you and uh, Amber were keeping people safe uh, in a big way yesterday. It, yes. it, it, it was a long day, but I'm glad that a lot of people are okay and we can rebuild what has been damaged and uh, we can breathe a sigh of relief with that. Yep. All right. Thanks. Jeff. Sure. Thank you so much, Jack. Well, just ahead, cleanup uh, begins in other states across the Midwest following yesterday's